If you've ever felt like your thoughts are scattered across notebooks, apps, or sticky notes, you're not alone. Note-taking tools are everywhere, but something's missing. What if, instead of just taking notes, you built a home for your ideas? A place where they could grow, connect, and come to life. That's what I want to show you today using Obsidian. Think of each note like a room in a mansion. Some rooms are tiny, just a quote or a passing thought. Others are big and full of life, like essays and stories or research. Each one has its own character, its own purpose, and over time, the more rooms you add, the more your mansion begins to take shape. In Obsidian, each note is its own space, but everything is connected. As your rooms take shape, certain themes start to emerge, and that's where tags come in. You might think of them as wings of your mansion, dedicated sections that gather related rooms. For example, someone might create a wing called Meaningful Moments, right? a place to collect notes that help them recall the good things in their life. Another might build a wing called the Green Leaf Life, a collection of thoughts and scriptures centered around trusting God. Tags they give you freedom to notice patterns and create spaces where ideas live together, not just as individual thoughts, but as a deeper part of a whole. Now imagine you could walk between rooms. That's what happens whenever you link notes together. In Obsidian, you create bi-directional links, so when one note mentions another, both notes know it. It's like building hallways between rooms, and over time, your ideas stop feeling like a pile of disconnected scraps and start feeling like a place with structure and flow. You can even open the graph view to get a bird's eye look at how all your notes are connected, your very own blueprint of thought. And then there's the canvas feature. You can think of this as your kitchen, where raw ingredients come together into something nourishing. On the canvas, you can arrange notes visually and rearrange ideas, play with structure, make connections you wouldn't see otherwise. You're not just collecting ideas, you're experimenting, exploring, creating something new. By the way, if this kind of thinking feels like home to you, I made a guide called The Idea Mansion. It's a simple, human-centered way to collect, shape, and connect your ideas without drowning in your own notes. You can grab it using the link below. The tools you use matter, but the way that you think with them matters even more. Whether you use Obsidian or a physical notebook or something else entirely, the real magic happens when you build a space where your ideas can live, breathe, and grow. That's what the Idea Mansion is all about. If you're ready to give your thoughts a home, I'd love for you to check it out.